What was it like working with um, Leonard Cohen? You did such a beautiful job on his album, and I had a picture of, of you with him. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's uh, Le that's Leonard, and then that's uh, Viva's first birthday. Viva is Rufus's uh, daughter, who's Leonard's grandchild. <clears throat> just you know, just making the, the, mu the music well, you know, family Rufus even larger. Rufus knows to go for the big time. <laughs> so you know that uh, I like that he wore a suit to a, a oh yeah he's only birthday. ever in a suit <laughs> you know and he sleeps in a suit but I've known Leonard since I was a teenager because I used to uh, and, uh, hang out a lot with his daughter we were very good friends and um, and I was a huge Leonard Cohen fan I always have been always will be and um, and I remember hanging out with her in her house in L A and I. You know, then you would see the character, you would see this guy in a fedora and in the suit, you know, walking on the lawn, you know, and there would be like a beautiful woman with him, and it was like this calmness, and he would, hello, Lord God, come in. <laughs> and then he would ask me to play my songs for him, and I would play the songs, and Martha, I really like that song. And, and then I was practicing songs, and he was living upstairs when I was his, at, her, at his daughter's house, and then he, he came down and he said, I've been listening to that song you've been writing. I think that's really wonderful. I, I don't think you should, um, you know, don't sell that to anybody. And, you know, I want you to make sure that you, if you sign a record deal, that these people will allow you to be who you are as an artist. And it was like very paternal and very lovely and very loving. And it was a big deal for me, obviously. That, uh, but he took a lot of time to listen and to, to, to give advice and all these things. So that was nice. Do I?